Hello everybody, it's Khalif PvP bringing you a Call of Duty video. Yes, a Call of Duty, kind of separate from my old school MMO videos. And the reason I really wanted to make this video is to figure out what I'm doing wrong in Call of Duty. So a little small kind of gaming uh, bio of myself. I I've been an FPS player for all my life, so even though my channel is primarily MMO related, I have... I am a full-fledged FPS player. I started with Quake, played games like Tribes, played playing like Doom, Duke, um, pretty much early FPS games as well as modern FPS games. One of my favorite FPS of all time, Call of Duty World at War. Love that game. Um, but I, ever since that, I kind of stepped away from Call of Duty and went more towards Battlefield because I think that one was more my uh, place that I think offered more. But I wanted to pick up Call of Duty after a really long hiatus from that game. I think I, this is probably four years after I, I played this game. I played Call of Duty, rather. So I wanted to pick it up and see what I was doing. And I'm getting destroyed. In other FPSs, um, for Battlefield, for example, my KD spread is always going to be in the positive. I'm not, you know, a pro-level player or anything like that. But... I'm good enough where my KD is in positive. So in Battlefield, it's about 1.8. Uh, in Battlefield uh, 3, it was around, I think, 1.7. In World at War, it was probably my highest at like 2 point something. Um, and then finally, in like your other, your casual games, like, you know, let's say Team Fortress 2, uh, it's again positive. Uh, and and, and it, I, I kind of understand that, you know, you can't transfer... Um, battlefield into Call of Duty and expect to pull 1.8 KD spread. I, I completely 100% understand that. But, you know, it's not like I'm going from, you know, from playing chess to football, right? Um, I, it, the FPS knowledge kind of still transfers around. And to be honest, like, I would expect to be at least in the positive uh, in terms of um, my KD spread, but in Call in Call of Duty Black Ops Three, it's I think it's like point eight eight, which is abysmal <laughs> for 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 a KD spread. So before I started raging about uh, how awful I was, I wanted to kind of um, get knowledge about what I'm doing wrong, and it, to do that, I started looking at some YouTube videos, and one of the channels I came across was from a guy named Driftor, and uh, Driftor has a wealth of Call of Duty knowledge in his channel. He does fantastic job breaking down each gun, uh, what their damage output is, what each attachment is, um, you know, things to do, generally tips and tricks about Call of Duty. Great channel, and I implore you to check that one out at a later time. So from that point on, once I got that knowledge, one of the things I saw was, okay, each gun roughly takes about four shots to kill a target okay so let's verify if that is true or false so one of the guns he reviewed was the four shot burst feral and you can hear it right now dun 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 and then in this one was kind of dun 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 um so yeah so we kind of verified that it is in fact four shots we'll have one more chance to verify that down below so i'm gonna go downstairs here and see oh, I thought that guy was a guy. I don't know. So that guy, alright, there's the one shot. There's the three right there. So and the target died. So it is in fact four shots to kill a target using the Pharaoh. So here's a different scenario that I'm gonna put four shots into. Now this is a little bit of a longer distance. Uh, I see the target. There's the first shot. And there's the three right there. But somehow I died. And he didn't. Now you might say, Khalif, you silly noob, uh, you died because that distance was quite far and you have a silencer. And if you know anything about Call of Duty, you know that the silencer has a drop off in damage. Okay, well, valid, valid argument. Um, even though I've been killed with this particular gun, uh, in much further distances but still a valid argument all right so that the distance was the issue in that particular scenario let's go with that explanation so we'll take a look at this scenario uh, we'll try to nullify the distance argument and we'll try to get right on top of the target uh, pretty much 
almost, I would say, submachine gun range. If not, well within the submachine gun range. So we're going to see a target right here. Um, aim down sight. You see the first couple shots hit. Nothing but headshots you can see from the blood splatter. But ta-da! We're dead. So let's look at a freeze frame almost. A very slow moving frame of our last couple uh, shots. Right here you can see I'm at 24 uh, bullets. And I'm going down to 23. And the last couple shots are nothing but headshots. But this particular point... The four bullets went into at least body shots, and the last couple are headshots. So now let's look at it from his perspective. Let's take a look at his shot. Oh my god. So here's a very slow, very slow uh, of it. And uh, you can see that his first shot is nowhere near me. So he, it's a, he also has a burst gun. His first couple of shots are nowhere near me. Chest shots. Just like I, I was shooting him, but somehow he killed me and I didn't kill him. Now judge me based on that fight. Don't judge me on you know pro players. Just judge me against this guy. Like for me, I personally can't see what I did wrong compared to him. Like what did he do right that I didn't do? Like, he, he didn't aim down sights. First couple of his shots were completely wild, whereas mine was aim down sights. Um, you know, it was right around the chest area, right around the headshots. I got a couple headshots. Um, you know, it's not like he got any lucky headshots that, you know, put me under. So for me, personally, I, you know, I watched this fight over and over again, and I cannot figure out, um, you know, what he did right compared to me. What did I do wrong? And... The answer that I keep coming up with is nothing. It's just Call of Duty fucking hates you. Here's another clip. Um, so I can kill this guy real quick. And I have 12 shots left. And I somehow again magically die. So let's look at it in really slow motion. 12 through 10 are all misses. And then 9 and on are all hits. You can see from the little hit marker that comes up. So I've slowed this footage down to show at least one of my shots as a headshot. You can see the blood splatter coming out of the guy's head. In addition to that, you can see his first shot, at least one of his first shots, is way off to the left-hand side by that uh, the red streak that you see. So of the you know nine shots that we fired, we verify at least four of them hit, and one of them was a headshot, so which is well within the range of this gun to get a kill. So yeah, I think the other uh, culprit of all this is the god awful uh, lag compensation for Call of Duty. Uh, I know when Drifter did it, he said it was a half a second, but I think it's much higher with all the stuff happening. So I really don't know how I can improve myself. You know, if you guys think it's not the lag, it's me. Please do let me know, and I'm hey, I'm definitely open to uh, you know improving my gameplay. But at this time, it's kind of uh, you know a little bit disheartening considering that in all the other FPSs, um, you know my KD spread is at least positive, and in Call of Duty, it's just god awful. So yeah, pretty much that's about it. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Uh, if it's you know me improving, let me know. And uh, until next time.